Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you the impossible arrows painted with black 3.0. So if you didn't see these arrows in the last video, I got a lot of comments saying why didn't you paint them with black 3.0, so I've gone ahead and done that, and let's see how awesome they look now. Okay, now these are the impossible arrows. Now the weird thing about these arrows is they don't look the same for me as they look for you. For example, let me show you what they look like in a mirror. Okay, so now look at this. Check out the reflection in the mirror. <laughs> so, outside of the mirror, the arrows are pointing towards each other, but in the mirror, they're pointing away from each other. <laughs> this is weird. You can see this isn't any camera trickery here. What's happening in the mirror is happening in real life. Now let's turn this whole thing. <laughs> now in the mirror they're pointed towards each other and on the plate here they're pointed away from each other. It's like they swap places. <laughs> that is so cool. So it seems like they can pretty easily swap which direction they're pointing. Pointed towards each other, away from each other. But when I try to actually turn them around, here's what happens. <laughs> This is so cool. This looks so much better with black 3.0 on them. <laughs> so black 3.0 is the blackest paint available on the market right now. It absorbs over 95 to 96% of visible light. Now what's cool when you have something this black is you can't see the contours of stuff. For example, in a previous video, I showed what it was like when I painted a styrofoam head with this black 3.0 and then turned it around in a circle. What's interesting is that you can't even tell which direction it's spinning. So which way is this spinning? Okay, so this is actually spinning in the counterclockwise direction. So this arrow illusion looks even better with black 3.0 because you can't see the contours of the shape that's making this arrow. Let me show you a clip from my previous video where I showed what's going on here. Now in the previous video, it's a little bit easier to tell what's going on because they're not painted with black 3.0. So the reason this is happening is because these aren't actually arrows. You can see that just the way that they're angled, it makes it look different depending on what side you're viewing it from. So if you view it from above, it doesn't look like an arrow at all. You can see it a little bit more clear when I put some tape on the side of the arrow. You can see that depending on what angle you're viewing it from, you don't actually see all of this shape here. So thanks for suggesting that I paint these arrows with black 3.0. These are much better like this than how they were before. They look way cooler. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab subscription box. And check out the link in my description or check out your local bookstore to see the Action Lab experiment book called Extreme Garage Science. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.